Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about all this Wendy Williams controversy, honey. So this is what's going on. Yesterday, Wendy Williams did a show, and she was talking about Joaquin Phoenix and his cleft scar. And so basically, um, she usually doesn't back down from anything she says, but there's been a lot of heat on her. What happened is that she's talking about Joe Keeman saying how fine he was, but that he had like a scar on his lip and insinuating that he had a cleft palate. I don't know if he does or not, but she went on to pull her lip up for what seemed to be forever for some people, but it was only about 10 to 20 seconds and her audience was laughing. So a lot of people in the cleft palate community got really upset and they felt like she was making fun of people who had cleft palates. I think I've shared this with you before. Have I shared this with them before? I find him oddly attractive. Yes, I think so. Uh huh. He played that. Johnny Cash. It wasn't yes. it wasn't Reese who kept me, it was him. <laughs> okay. This right here, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I don't know anything about this Joker. But um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Suzanne. He was hot John, in the Johnny Cash movie. He right? was hot. Yes. And and he knows how to transform. Like when he shaves that off, but the way he looks at you. Yes, those piercing <laughs> eyes. Right? Those crazy piercing and, and eyes. And he's got that good nose. It <laughs> dips way down. <laughs> like he's happy with it. So so am I. <laughs> And when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline yep. fracture. He's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip. Yep. Cleft palate. Yep. He's, he's got yep. this. Yep. He's got this. Uh-huh. No, I find it to be, I find it to be very attractive. <laughs> anyway, but back to you bachelor chicks. Oh. So one of the people that I was really, really mad was Cher. So this is what Cher took to her social media to say. And Cher's a singer for all you young folks who don't know who Cher is. So Cher says, at Wendy Williams, I was going to try and hold my temper, but I'm so effing angry I can't. In 1985, I made a film called Mass. Through that film, I became involved with children and adults who had craniofacial anomalies. You have no idea what these people go through. 20 plus operations before their teens. Much of the time they are in pain, afraid, but have hope they will look normal. The heartbreak and fear that their parents go through is unbearable. If your mom saw what you did, she'd be ashamed. My mom taught me to love and help people in pain. Who are you? You should be fired. So once she said that, of course, a petition started and the petition in less than 24 hours, it had over uh, 10,000 signatures. I think it's finally made it up to about 30,000 today. So now another guy who was really upset because the show initially aired on the 10th, Wendy Williams finally came out and apologized yesterday, but the main guy who was spearheading the movement as well was a guy named Adam Big Hill and he's a football player in Canada. And so he says this needs a RT. Wendy Williams mimics a cleft palate and a palate person. I have a cleft palate and so does my son who was just born. Her actions are hideous and offensive and promotes bullying. Then he goes on to post a picture of his son and he says today is Bo's big day. He is getting his lip repaired today in Winnipeg by the fantastic Dr. Ross. Thanks to everyone who has reached out in advance. Thanks for any of your well wishes for Bo. He is so loved, cleft strong. Hashtag cleft strong, hashtag one in 700, hashtag cleft cutie. So that is what he posted about his child yesterday on the 15th. So Wendy Williams must have seen that post because she didn't see the original one from the 10th. And so Wendy Williams replied back to him with an apology. And this is what Wendy Williams said. So Wendy Williams says, at Big Hill 44, we're thinking about Bo today as he is in surgery. I want to apologize to the cleft community and in Bo's honor, our show is donating to at Operation Smile and at Amir Clef Palette and encourage our Wendy watchers to learn more and help support the Clef community. So Adam replied back to her and said, thank you at Wendy Williams. Thank you for your apology, your donation, and for thanking of Bo today for his surgery. I forgive you and I encourage others to as well. I wish you all the best. So they were able to make amends, but share, honey, she wasn't having it, okay? So after Adam Big Hill decided to accept Wendy's apology, um, Cher comes along and she says, does an apology make up for this? So then somebody replies back to Cher and they're like, but she apologized. And then Cher replies back to them and she's like, apologized? There is no apology for what she did and laughed about. I know these children and adults, they go through hell. Their parents go through hell. 
Fuck her apology. She wants to keep her job. Can't contain my anger. Rawr. So that is that was Cher's response to Wendy Williams' apology. She was not here for the fuck shit at all. She wanted Wendy Williams' head on a silver platter, bitch. <laughs> So this entire situation is crazy. But if the father who has a cleft palate can forgive Wendy, especially, you know, being that his son has it and his son is going through surgery, at the end of the day, he wants to forgive Wendy. You know, Cher can't get mad about that. But Cher is still really, really upset and still wants Wendy Williams fired. So like I said, there's a lot of, you know, signatures on the petition, but I doubt she'll lose her job. And honestly, I don't think she really meant any malice by it. I don't know why she held her finger up to her lip. You know, that was very immature, especially for how long she held it up there. But I do feel like we live in a world where people are just extremely sensitive about everything. And while it's not okay to bully people or to make fun of people with disabilities or deformities, because these are things that happen to people that they have no control over. So it's not okay to do that. But I do feel like some people are reaching with trying to get her fired because I've honestly heard Wendy Williams say a lot worse, okay? So like I said, I think her grabbing her lip was definitely over the top, but I don't think she meant harm by it. It because she was giving Joaquin Phoenix props and saying that he was very handsome. Should she have apologized? Absolutely, because what she did um, offended a community of people, so she needed to apologize. But I don't think that this particular offense means that she should lose her job behind it. And that's my personal opinion. You guys might see it differently. Now, in other Wendy Williams news, she's catching flack today for what she said about Lori Harvey. So if you guys do not know, Lori Harvey is currently dating Future and her and Future made it Instagram official by posting pictures of them kissing and everything else. So Wendy Williams is definitely not feeling this situation. So a lot of people are really upset because it seemed like Wendy Williams is talking about, you know, bringing harm onto women. And people feel like she shouldn't have said that. Um, During the segment, she was basically saying, if my daughter at 23 would um, get with a guy who has eight kids by four different women, I'd break her neck, crack her skull, and throw her down the steps. Um, You're the boss of your kids even when they're 23. So a lot of people took a lot of offense to what she said during that segment. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Future has eight kids with eight babies' moms. (laughs) And, and and, and, and... Lori, Lori wasn't born a Harvey. Steve adopted her when he got with Marjorie, his wife, but she got with him on some. All I'm saying is, Steve, I hope you and Marjorie are very proud of your daughter. Uh, At 23 years old, being with a man with so many children and running around and, and she dated Puffy and Puffy's son. Allegedly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Norntman? Yep, I'm here. <laughs> if this was my daughter at 23, I would break her neck, crack her skull, and throw her down the steps. That's all. What is wrong with you? What was <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. And that's the word you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so you guys just heard what she had to say about Lori Harvey. And I definitely think she was kidding. I know what she probably means is she'd be really disappointed in her child because she raised her child better than that. But I highly doubt that she would pick her daughter up and throw her down the steps and break her skull and all that stuff. I think she was just over-exaggerating, obviously. But again, we live in such a sensitive world that you can't even joke like that without people taking it to the extreme. But I do find the fact that Lori and Future are together, I do find that very, very interesting, especially the fact that her mother co-signing this and we all know her mother taught her very well okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know your thoughts on both situations concerning wendy williams how do you guys feel about the comments that she made about the club community do you feel like she should be fired for that and then how do you guys feel about the comments that she made today about Lori harvey a lot of people are getting really upset about that on social media and trying to say that she's promoting violence towards women so let me know your thoughts on everything don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the thumbs up and most importantly don't forget to hit the notification bell so that week me down with the notification squad all right deuces